Hey folks, welcome back. 2016 Ram 2500. We got us the C003A right rear wheel speed sensor circuit out of range and it's active. It's active just as soon as you turn the key on and it goes through its self check, it sets the code off. You can reset the code, it comes right back on. This pickup's uh, 97,000 miles. And because of that fault being set off, you get the traction control light, the uh, ABS light coming on. Um, therefore, your cruise control doesn't work. And one of the stupidest things, I think, is the 4x4 doesn't work when you've got those faults. Um, cruise control, I understand. I think the 4x4 not working, that's kind of a, to me, it's, it seems like a, a safety issue. The 4x4 still should engage. Um, but that's not the way it is, so don't I don't design or build any of these things. I just got to fix what's here. So I'm going to show you some quick and uh, easy ways to um, diagnose this problem. Because um, you could, uh, about six out of ten times, you might put a new sensor in, and that might fix it. Or that probably will fix it. But the other four out of ten times, it's going to be the wiring and we're gonna, I'm going to show you some places to uh, look for and what to uh, look for to, to uh, be able to figure out you know what's going on. A Dodge with wiring issues? Oh I never heard of that. Okay first place we start is uh, right underneath the uh, driver door here. Actually let's slow down just a little bit. Pull up a wiring schematic of our uh, ABS and traction control and all that kind of stuff. Um, pretty much what you got here is the uh, ABS module. So we've got our different wheel sensors right here and here's our uh, right rear, the one that we're working on. You can see it comes out with a, uh, a dark green slash orange wire that's so it's basically a dark green wire with an orange stripe and then this is another dark green wire with a blue stripe um, that one's hard for me to see because of how my eyes see color I'm not really color blind but that's uh, looks this all the same to me that looks like a total solid green I guess um, goes in here and it, what this doesn't show it does show that it's got a plug right here you know from the sensor but it also doesn't show this particular schematic this is more just a diagram but this doesn't show that you know where all of you know because from here to here it could pass through a few different plugs and I know for at least one we're gonna we're gonna get it pulled apart but anyways we got uh, your right wheel wheel speed sensor right here your plus and your dark green an orange and then your minus right here dark green and orange so it's another place if you get to the point where on the ABS module uh, pins 44 and 43 are for this right rear uh, right rear wheel sensor try to say that ten times faster than that good luck but you're pretty much looking at you know <clears throat> they're all pretty much the exact same type of sensors they got a, just a coil of wire through here and these are little uh, teeth, you know, kind of like gear teeth or whatever, and that just passes over the gear to um, make it do its reading. Okay, so we're, um, this is on uh, Mitchell. Highly recommend you, uh, you can even you get the DYI, you know, which is actually what this, this particular one is. Um, Namely, because I just didn't like the the one that uh, oh, the other one I was choosing. We did, that's an alert. So, anyways, we got the uh, C003A right rear wheel sensor circuit out of range. That's our fault. And so, this figure seven, you can click on this. That'll bring up that uh, circuit diagram that we were just looking at. And when monitored, this diagnostic runs continuously when the following conditions are met, the ignition on, and there's no undervoltage DTCs, which means that you know you don't have a low, lower dead battery. 
set condition. The analog brake system, ABS module detects the right rear wheel speed sensor circuit failure. And the default action is ABS is disabled, which disables like cruise control and four wheel drive and all that stuff. So we'll scroll down here a little bit more. Okay, so we got connector terminal damage. We could have a right rear uh, speed sensor circuit shorted to voltage. Um, we could have shorted to ground or we could have the sent signal circuit open or right rear wheels wheel speed sensor or the ABS brake module itself okay so the first step it uh, goes through is verify that the uh, DTC is active and that is definitely the case it is active when the ignition key is on so check the connector terminal for damage. Okay, so here's uh, step number two. Check all terminals for broken, bent, or pushed out corroded terminals. We'll go out and do that. We'll turn the ignition off, inspect the wheel sensor harness and connector, inspect the wheel sensor for excessive debris on the sensor itself. Were any problems found? Yes. Um, we did find that there was, it was excessive debris on the sensor. We did clean that off, but that, apparently that was not our problem. Um, Basically, it, you know, if, if it was yes, you would just repair as necessary if you found any problems with these. And um, the next thing we're going to do is go check this uh, right rear wheel speed sensor supply circuit voltage. But we're going to go and check, let's go identify some of these parts on here. Okay, first thing we're going to do is going to go underneath the here and go right over there to the uh, passenger side rear wheel. And we'll identify the sensor. So this little uh, eight millimeter bolt right here, loosen it up, basically just uh, pull the sensor, right, grab it right on about right here. Not really the wire, but it grab onto the hard part right here and just pull it out. Now I did replace this because I had a new one already just, just here. Just thought maybe that would, would try it. Like I said, most of the time it works, but uh, this time it didn't. Um, but you follow the line all the way up, back up in there, right to the back of the fuel tank. We'll go there next. Okay, we're underneath the fuel tank. He's got the rear axle. This is the driver's side rear wheel. Um, you know, same thing with the sensor on that. But we're looking right up here. And right up in here is, to pull this down, there's your connector. This is the actual wire right here going back to the sensor itself. And then there's the wiring that's in turn looping back around and eventually going into here. So you want to just disconnect this. There's kind of a deal right like this tab right here. You just push and, and uh, pull that out. Um, I got to pause it to do it, but anyways, we'll pull that out. Okay, there's your connector. Obviously this one's good because it's a new sensor. Um, this right here, it all looks good and everything. Um, so when we're gonna go back and check the other connector, but when you're back here, I don't know if you can see this very good or not, but you notice how this is um, kind of dug in this has been resting on this right here. Even though this hasn't worked through, this could be a potential place that that could have rubbed inside and broken the wire or did something or, you know, a couple of them to short them to get, you know, could have done anything, but that's just a potential place to just keep note of, to be like, you know what, that's a place right there that we might need to uh, cut back all of this uh, wrap that they have on there and check it. It wouldn't be my first choice to to do but just depends on what everything else looks like if I don't see anything else at all that would be a place I would would go to check to make sure you know because it's it's really difficult to see it but let me see if I can get a closer view I don't know if that's the greatest shot but see how that's been kind of rubbing and you know you can see kind of see the indentation but it's definitely a lot you know we're looking right right here at the end of my finger on this this bracket right here that that holds these uh, I think they're brake lines but... okay the next place to look at is this connector which right underneath the driver door see here's the uh, front 
drive line right there it's just on the other side of it this is the frame rail so you can get a picture of where we're where we're at here and there's a kind of a big zip tie thing or whatever that will pull this out of here I already had pulled it off and then um, you'll want to push this uh, plug in there but these two wires uh, right here are your wires that uh, so you've got the dark green with the orange stripe and right next to it here might not pull up on camera um, trying to rotate it around it's yeah there is a blue stripe on there take my word for it it's hard for even for me to see but um, the only other wires on here is a dark green with a yellow stripe and a dark green I think with a brown stripe yeah well it's a gray it's a gray uh, stripe on there come on camera focus that's your left rear wheel speed sensor, green and yellow, and green with a gray stripe. Okay, so you wanna pull this uh, deal apart, this plug or whatever, right up there, when this thing's in place, that's another place these things can rub, right up in that deal for that, uh, that's just a plastic plug there, plugging a hole in the floor pan, basically. Um, but yeah, we'll pull this off and examine it, and just go from there. All right, we've got that pulled apart, and at first glance, everything uh, looks really good. Don't see anything obvious. This is the part that's going towards the um, uh, ABS module, and this is the part that's that's kind of loops back into the wire loom. You can just barely see it through there, and it's just going back, 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 back over there. So one of the easiest ways to uh, test these, or test the wiring on here, is first do an ohm check, and we're going to do it with the left rear um, sensor, just to kind of show you what I'm doing. Best thing to do for this battery, or I mean for this test, is unhook your batteries up in the engine compartment, but you are unplugged here, so there's no power or anything like this to this wire. But what we're going to do is take a little bitty jumper wire, stick it into the two uh, terminals on uh, this side which will be those two on the bottom right because um, you can see we got the green with the yellow stripe second wire in green with the gray stripe first wire and that's what we're going to test first we're going to put the jumper wire in there so let's get that put in okay there's our jumper wire in place there okay so we're going to go up here and we've located the other plug for the left rear wheel sensor and we're going to get it uh, taken apart and then I'll show you what I got going on there. Okay, so we got our uh, ohm meter set to ohms, um, obviously. <laughs> it's a multimeter and we got it set to ohms. And what we did is I just put a couple of leads coming out of of the plug there and that's the you know going back the wiring there so with our jumper wire there those two wires there are now com got a completed circuit and I could draw a little picture and show you kind of what we're doing here but we see we got one lead right there and then um, I got the ohm meter set to to beep when this goes on here so we'll see okay so we know that's a completed circuit right there with um, where we put that jumper wire in. Let's go draw a picture. Okay, so I won't really draw a picture, but these two wires right here. So let's just say that this is that plug underneath the driver's door inside the frame rail right there. What we did is we disconnected it and then we put the, you know, so say this is the plug, you know, from the where the line goes back, you know, obviously I told you which way the line or the wires went up to the module, which is here, but back here, this goes all the way back, you know, and then this area right here where we're working at with the plug, this is kind of right there by the fuel tank. And so what we did is we put one lead on here and one lead on here 
to the, the meter and all we did right here with that jumper wire is we just bridged these two together and so with the meter saying hey there's a closed circuit between this wire which means this wire is good all the way from this point back to here and this wire is good from this point all the way back to here hence the reason our left rear wheel speed sensor is working so that's what we've got going on there so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go to the to the uh, dark green and orange and the dark green and blue and we're just going to put that same jumper wire in that position and then we'll go back over here to the uh, right rear wheel sensor and we'll put our meter leads you know one your black one and your uh, positive one doesn't matter which goes where and we're going to measure right in that plug there and see if we've got a complete circuit between here and there. Okay, we got our jumper wire repositioned over here. Remember it was over in those two spots there because now that's going to correspond to because this plug will go right on just like this. And so now we're looking at this green and orange stripe and the wire next to it with is is, is a green with the with the uh, blue stripe. Earlier we were working on this one right here with the green and yellow and then the green and the gray. But now we're working on it like this. So therefore we're jumpering those two wires together. Which is doing this right here. The jumper those two, we got it unplugged now. So it's, there's no, it's not going back this way, but we've got it jumpered right here. And now we're gonna go put our meter leads on here because you can see that wire goes all the way out down there and we're working on the right rear ABS wheel set speed sensor okay we got our uh, lines there I don't know if I could actually touch this or not okay so we got that if we touch there but if we go back over here and we put it on this other wire Ladies and gents, we have us an open circuit somewhere between this plug and the other plug where our jumper wire is in down there. So now we gotta find it. Now one other test uh, to do um, is leave the jumper wire out and do the same ohm test um, right here because you could have these shorted together somewhere. That is definitely a possibility. It rubs together and it rubs both of them and then they get shorted together. Um, that's not what we got going on. Ours most likely one of, one or, one of these wires is uh, open somewhere in here between where we put our jumper wire up on this front plug below the driver door to back here where the plug is right by the fuel tank above the uh, kind of by right in front of the uh, left passenger uh, rear wheel so that's what we got to do so now I got to go searching around and try to figure out and you know, start taking some stuff apart and figure out where um, the brake is I kind of told you some areas that you're possibly gonna gonna be, be looking um, but it's all gonna be different and so um, I'll show you where I find it but my tactics are is just to uh, look at the place that I think is most obvious and start there and I'm gonna think of that place where the uh, I showed you back here kind of in this area where um, I was trying to film it and all that where that thing had been kind of rubbing up that's to where the suspect place is so so anyways we'll be back with uh, what we find all right folks we got into this uh, wiring harness here um, nothing we didn't see anything going on here um, you see how these were, this is your other set right here for your other wheel sensor, how they're kind of twisted together like that. Um, when I was undoing this, I nicked part of this wire right here with the um, Stanley knife. And so I had to cut this, but because I had to do that, I thought I'd just as well put my own meter on here. And we still have our jumper wire in down there. And so hooking the ohm meter up right here with these wires, we know that our problem is not back here, and I don't have to go back up into where the uh, 
plug is and stuff up there most likely not we just got to repair uh, these two wires and we're gonna have to to uh, move on forward to figure out um, where this brake is but I don't suggest doing it this way uh, I mean what I mean by cut is is cutting wires um, if you don't have to cut them I don't suggest doing it um, but in my case um, since I nicked the wire and it was bare I had to cut it so that I could get that part of the wire out and get it all repaired and get it fixed so we'll keep on going all right folks we got the wiring repaired um, see we're at the back axle right by the fuel tank and where this wire loom runs over the top here we had to uh, splice into it but I, it's it's right up in there I can't even get the camera in there um, it's where these fill lines go and all that type of stuff but anyhow it was rubbing there broke the wire that's what we got so we got the codes all uh, cleared out of the dash and it goes through its checks and got no more traction control light no more ABS light we just have a it's a tire pressure sensor problem and then it's actually due for service it looks like but I just heard the deal click, you know, so apparently it's it locked in four wheel drive there, so. There it clicked out, so we'll actually got to go out and test it, make sure it's actually engaged and working. Well, that's a wrap for that. Hopefully that give you some ideas on where to check different uh, places to uh, find out, you know, whether you got uh, two wires shorted, wire open thing like that because in this particular vehicle changing the sen uh, sensor didn't didn't fix it so we went on to check the wiring found a spot repaired it and all that so sorry I didn't show you all that but it's just repairing broken wiring not too much about that so um, couldn't film it and couldn't even get the camera up in there so sorry about that but anyways uh, thanks for watching